Okay, this is uh, on the value of human life, or is there any to begin with? Uh, inspired by a video we <coughs> saw of some gentlemen discussing the topic, and uh, it was kind of shocking to me because they seemed sure if human life should have any value, and they were like, in aliens. Yeah, and all this crap and, and, like, and various yeah. stages like yeah. of of human fetal development and, and somehow that's just a this and a that and it's not a human all this crazy stuff. Yeah. But I was just quite surprised that because one of my questions to them would be because they said, "Well, what do you mean? You mean what does God value? What do people value?" And I, no, I mean, I mean, if we don't value ourselves, mm -hmm. right, then who will, right? Yeah. And, and if we don't value ourselves, I mean, go down a very dark path then. And, 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 and aren't we embracing, I don't think that the, isn't the jury still out on whether or not we're all going to embrace nihilism, so to speak? Like, we yeah. don't know for sure if everything's pointless. Wouldn't that be just deciding that everything's pointless, basically? If yeah. we don't value human life, we're entering sort of nihilism, aren't we? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so it just <clears throat> baffled me, because I'm convinced we do have intrinsic value. And I, and I think you could make a strong argument, even if you're an atheist, which I don't know. Even if you're an atheist, I think you could make it. A pretty good scientific argument, if nothing else, that there's value in human life, and there's, if for no other reason, it benefits people better to get along than to bench each other over the head. You know. Well, I have a couple of thoughts about that. One is it depends on what kind of society you want. Um, some of these people seem to be promoting a society that would basically be uh, like an anthill culture. Right. You know, we all look as the same. We're all just uh, disposable drones, and when we die, somebody else eats us, and, and we just. Yeah. And I don't think. I agree with that. I think that each individual, I've actually always felt that each individual has value. I don't care if you're a ditch trigger or a doctor, financial wizard, um, everybody has a value. That, that, and people say, well, does God value us? Well, why would God create us if, if God didn't value us? Mm -hmm. So if you if you want to go down that road, mm -hmm. I would think that's fairly thing. But if you want, the, if you don't want the species to survive nihilism, this is the road to go down. If you do, then start valuing human life. The problem to me is urban life tends to devalue life because, oh, there's there's always somebody. I don't care if you're a stockbroker. There's somebody to replace you. You're replaceable. You're just another number. Mm -hmm. In a more rural society, everybody has a value because there's only so many of you. So Joe down the road might be the best ditch digger <clears throat> in the county. And you say, oh, he's only a ditch digger until you need a ditch dug. Mm -hmm. He's the guy you go see. So, so there's always so. So I personally am, am more of a proponent of ur uh, rural society than urban, and I don't think urban society is inevitable. I think we've been sold a bill of goods about that. Uh, if you drive around North America, as I have done, there is a lot of land out there, boys. We could all be sitting on our, our own acreages here. I don't care how you slice that up, but that's the elephant in the room they don't want you to talk about because oh, that would be too hard, and there's this and it's that, and it's like. No, actually, we could organize society that way. It wouldn't be that difficult. And especially today with the Internet, you're always connected to the world. Mm -hmm. There we are right now connecting to the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, another thing, oh, yeah. Anyway, it occurred to me, too, that... <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say that the... The thing I just had this thought. Just, the idea that... It just occurred to me that there's all these men supposedly trying to create artificial intelligence and stuff, right? And isn't that kind of like... like Sorry, we're, we're presupposing that these men themselves have intelligence. But well, okay. whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Who knows? But they, they're they trying to create something intelligent yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, you want yeah. to call it. But they're trying to create life in a sense. But I realize, is this, is this not just... Is this not sort of just a little part of feminine part of men express like that, that men have a sort of matronly desired not they don't oh actually, i see what you mean you to know, create something to create something because okay. we seem to be sure there seems to be all and and you would think that the men who are creating these even the guy who made the atom bomb yep. probably when he was making it it was like his little child you know like he probably as twisted as it is because he created this monstrosity but it, yep. to him yep. it was just probably his baby too you know what i mean i agree and, and i think you know um that's that whole idea uh, in, in Taoism of yin-yang. Uh, the two 
really are you know we we separate them out so our left brains can sort of analyze them and 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 and, and drill down into them and, and unpack them a bit mm-hmm. but in reality nothing is it's all one big organic synergistic mm-hmm. gestalt i'd like to know too if what these guys who do create these ais uh i wonder how them having like let's say they happen to just outside in their lives their work lives get married and have children how that affects that desire to keep like i wonder if it kills some of that need because i've noticed that is it is a coincidence that the guys doing this often seem to be very like awkward socially very high chance they may have never even had a girlfriend you bring up so good point. so people that have never actually procreated mm-hmm. so they have this weird desire and they're trying to exp- since they can't do it normally or what we would Expressing it in this other more twisted kind of way, I, that's I know that's going out a bit out there, but it just occurred to me I'd never looked at it through that lens before. So okay, what, it could be a sort of compensatory mechanism for something that they're finding feeling a lack in. Maybe that's what I mean. Like stay in their own lives. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, we 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 can. Uh, okay, we're over time here, so we're gonna have to cut that off now. We can unpack some of this later. That's an interesting one, though. Okay.